So question two. So first of all, this is outside the range of the data. So the correct word for it, extrapolation. Okay, that makes it unreliable. But if you can't remember that, just say outside range of data. And that would be fine to get you your mark. Now it says, sorry, state what is measured by the product moment correlation coefficient. Well, you're trying to see if there is a linear, right? In other words, are you going to get your crosses, right? Are you going to get a straight line going through it? So is there going to be a linear relationship? It doesn't actually refer to this particular question. Linear relationship between two variables. And part C. So this wants us to, to test this, okay? So it's given us a correlation value. Well, kind of how significant is that? You know, what, what, what does that actually mean? And we need to make sure that we set this out properly. So what we need to write down, so you need to write a, a null hypothesis. So basically your correlation is equal to zero and an alternative hypothesis. Now it's one tailed, okay? We're looking, it actually says uh, whether or not the product moment correlation coefficient product is greater than zero. So we just need to say, whoops, greater than zero. And we're working at the 5% significance level, right? We know that. We know we've got, it's nine days, so, n is 9. So all you need to do now is to use your tables to look up the critical value. So go and look in your tables, and the critical value for this one is 0.5822, right? You can go and look at that. Now, we would also need to make sure that we make this statement. We can now say, well, 0.609 is obviously more than our critical value. All right, so make sure that you write it down and get all the marks. And then we can say that, well, that is, that does look like the alternative, doesn't it? Okay, so we're actually going to reject the null hypotheses. And I want to write something like, there is evidence to suggest that the correlation is more than zero. Okay, so do go in and actually write that bit in as well. And then the last bit of the question, it says, using the same nine days, a location from the large data set uh, gave these figures just here. Using your knowledge of the large data set suggests giving your reasons a location that gave rise to the statistics. Like, okay, well, you need a bit of knowledge of the large data set, otherwise you're going to be stuck on this one. So what have we got? We've got a much larger temperature. Okay, so we've got large t and w the wind speed is small so we've got large temp and low wind now it's much more it's, it's unlikely to be somewhere in the uk okay so it's it's gonna be somewhere else so using my knowledge of the data set because of this information here i'm gonna go with beijing um and the reason that i'm going with beijing is because, well, it's likely to be warmer and it's also going to be lower wind as it's, as it's not close to the coast. All right, now clearly you might, might not know that bit. Um, I think the other possibility is Jacksonville as well. Uh, you could get away if you just said, yeah, okay, it's, it's you know, it's in the southern hemisphere. It's, you know, it's going to be south, it's going to be warm.